All right, so um, we loaded up the uh, ROM RAM board last time, and uh, I thought I'd see if it works. Uh, at least I can um, send address to it. So now we have a, a way to look at the uh, memory address, or not memory, yeah, memory address, the, the memory bus, uh, memory address bus. So this card has um, three lines, read, write, and address. So read uh, means take the value of the memory and put it onto the bus. Write means take the bus and put it into the memory. And uh, address means take the ad, uh, contents of the bus and put that into the uh, memory address buffer. So there's a uh, octal latch here, and this is looking at it. So uh, we have our input board here, so we can uh, input some value. And uh, then we can toggle the address line, which is over here. And uh, the value uh, gets put into the address register. Let me zoom in, we'll do that again. Uh, oh, that's very, very dark. I always have too much light or not enough light. Uh, oh, there we go. I'll just, sh I'll just shield it with my uh, with a piece of paper. That'll, that'll work good. All right. So, um, let's zoom out a bit so you can see both boards. There we go. There's both boards. Uh, so we have zero on the bus. We can clock that in. So we put zero onto the uh, onto the address, and then uh, once again, if I can balance this here, I really need to set this up better. Okay. Um, so if I put something on the bus, and then we'll clock that in. Uh, there we go. It clocked in and remembers it. So, that seems to be working fine. Um, we should be able to put something into memory and then read that out. So let's give that a try. Let's uh, go to address zero. We'll just use address zero. And we can use the... so address zero... oh, address zero actually is mapped to the ROM. So that's not going to work. Uh, so we will have to go to address uh, 128. So, let's go and put in uh, 128 into the address bus. So now we should be addressing the RAM. And so we should be able to do some other clever things here. Uh, let's take the uh, right line, take the right line, and let's toggle that. So, let's put in some value, let's put in, um, oh, I don't know, some random value here, something like that. Put that into RAM, clock that. So now, supposedly, that's in RAM address, uh, 128. And then I should be able to take the read line, which is this one, and tie it low, and that should assert the bus. And it doesn't work! Oh no! Why didn't it work? Oh dear. Hmm. That should have worked. Um, let's see, this is the right. And we asserted the right. Oh, let's see. And yeah, we asserted the right. That should have been in there. And then we should be able to take the read. And the read, we should be able to bring that low. And yeah, nothing works. Oh no! Okay, something to work on. Uh, don't know why that didn't work. Let's try. Let's try the old RAM board and see if that worked. Uh, where's the old RAM board? Here's the RAM board. Okay. So let's put that in. Uh, this is the old RAM board. And we 
can have the address and we can have the right which is this and then we can have the read which is this one okay and the read we will tie high so we're not reading all right let's power that up let's clock the address zero then we'll clock in some data we'll just put this into uh into data and the data right oops right is this one so we will write that in and then when we take the read and bring it low oh that doesn't work either ah hmm so I'm not doing something right <laughs> what else is new let me play this with with this for a while I'll get back okay I think I know what I was doing wrong um, over here uh, I was using these switches to clock uh, the write pulse and the read pulse and I was going from low to high and that's incorrect I should be going from high to low because it's low true so I've rewired that for a low going a low going pulse so let's see if we can make this work again um, we can clock the address to zero now we're, lo we're looking at zero and then we can clock in data which is the right, uh, the right pulse. Okay, so the right pulse, we can do that. And then we, when we assert the read low, it doesn't work. Hmm. What the heck am I doing wrong? This is the right, clock the right, and then read the data. Huh. Does not work. What am I doing wrong? Because I think these worked before. I have two of them, so maybe only one of them works. Let's let's put this one on. Okay. This is the read, and this is the right, and uh, this is the address. Okay. All right. So, address uh, right, and then address okay we're going to put in zero for the address and then we're going to clock in that data and then we are going to read out that data and oh uh, at least we're reading something out now uh, not sure why it's flickering like that hmm uh, should have a high going. Hmm. Okay. Uh, getting closer. Let me uh, play with it some more. All right. Figured out what's going on. Um, I need a low going pulse for the output enable. I need a low going pulse for the right of the RAM, but I need a high going pulse for the octal latch. <laughs> there we go. I'd forgotten. Uh, too much vacation. Okay, so we're going to have zero. We're going to clock that into the uh, latch. So we're looking at address zero. We're going to put something on the bus. We're going to assert the right pulse. So we're going to write that into memory. And then if we uh, enable the uh, RAM, then there we go. We get back out what we put in. Okay, so now that we've done that with the old chip, 
Let's put in the new one again. Okay, this is the new one. All right, new one. This is read. And this one is right. And this one is address. All right. And everything should be good. All right, power on. All right, so we're going to set address. Uh, we need to set address 128. So we're going to clock that in. There we go, we have that clocked in. It's nice to be able to see the address. And now we are going to put data uh, into the chip. So we're going to put that byte into the chip. So we will do a write. That should be in there now. Now we will assert the bus and nothing. Shoot. What is the problem? Hmm. What is the problem? Uh, let's see. We might not be. Let's see. Let's try a different address in case it's upside down. I don't think it's upside down, but let's put in address zero. Okay. And let's try that same experiment. We'll put in five into memory and then read that out. Uh oh, it works. Oh dear, oh dear. My inverter is inverting it the wrong way. So we have RAM located at address 0 through uh, 127, and then ROM starts at 128, I believe. Otherwise, there's a short someplace, and maybe they're both addressed at the same location. But, um,. Anyway, that is working. Um, like I said, I did these so fast. I'm not. I'm not uh, surprised I made an error. Um, but I will double check that uh, on the schematic and see if there's an error there. But anyway, it does work. We can put in um, when we were putting in uh, 128. Uh, the RAM was deselected, so that wasn't why it wasn't working. And as soon as we went to a, a memory location that did work, um, then we're getting a good value. We have five now at address zero. Let's change it to address one. Let's go to address one. And let's put in um, three. We're going to put in three. There we go. So if we... Insert the bus, we get three, and if we change the address to zero, it goes back to five. So there we go. So we put in two memory locations and it all works fine. So the board does work, except for it's, uh, unfortunately, that wrong way around. Not, we still might be able to use it. Um, the problem with it is when I do a reset, I want it to reset to zero. When I'm at zero, I want it to start running code out of ROM. If I can somehow make a front panel that allows me to put in memory address 128, then we can start the program. Much like we did on the MSI when I had to set F000 to boot the device, um, uh, that would be more, more like what we have here. But that's a bit more advanced to, to get to, to put in um, which memory address we're going to start with. Um, I don't have that all worked out yet, but anyway. I uh, think the board's working except for that one problem and uh, check it out.